everyone, this is Ariane uh, Arsenault from La Fille de la Mer and today this is a quick tip video. Um, I've just made this beautiful soap, it's our Gulf Blue Soap. If you want to see the making of, I will leave a link right up there. But um, today I'm going to show you how I wash my stock pots and soap pitchers uh, quickly after soap making, cold process soap making, so that I can be ready to make another batch right away and that I don't clog my drains. Here at the soap shop, we love the cotton rags. We have so many of these, probably a few hundreds. Uh, we do not use paper towel, but you could do the same with paper towels if you prefer. Uh, paper towels are compostable, so is soap batter. So if you do use paper towels, please put them in the compost if it's something that's uh, you know available in your town or municipality. So what I do right after soap making, I wipe down every remaining batter off of my stock pots with the cotton rags and I find it's more earth friendly to do it this way than I don't need to dispose of paper towels. So I wipe down everything and I'll flip this around a few times so I can soak it with soap. Voila! So here my big stock pot is done <laughs> and doing that I'm careful not to wipe my elbows and my arms inside of the stock pot because this is cold process soap it is raw batter which is still corrosive so you don't want to get this on your skin so i wipe it clean like that and there's still a place on my rack so i'm going to keep on doing this and so what happens is that the the soap will saponify on your rag and, and then we don't wash this right away, but we do put these in the washing machine. And after 24 hours, the soap, well, the batter on the rags is turned to soap. And then you can wash it in the washing machine without worrying about all of that oil and those butters to be clogging your sink. So I'm gonna take another rag. And then once this is all done, then you can go to your sink and pour some hot soapy water and with gloves and goggles always, uh, you can wash these down with soap and water because most of the soap that could clog your drain if it's washed right away, um, then won't clog your drains because it'll just go, you know, in the rags and be transformed into soap. Okay. Another thing you can do if you're not in a rush, you could let this saponify in your pitchers and then wash it with hot soapy water on the next day. Although I find it a bit more difficult because then the batter is all, you know, it's firm and it's hard to remove. So I really prefer to do it this way. I This is what I always do. Okay, so this almost looks clean. <laughs> and I do the same with my stick blender my spatulas, anything that had so batter on it gets wiped down with a rag. I'm gonna switch to my uh, <laughs> bigger gloves because I just don't wanna get splashed with some water that may have some lye in it. I mean, pretty, most of it is gone, but I don't wanna take a chance. So I have hot soapy water and then it's super easy to get these cleaned. And I cleaned the outside too because it was covered in soap. <laughs> and voila, it is super easy to get these cleaned. I make sure that I clean the outside too because it was covered in soap just a few minutes ago. But there's so little soap left that it just comes off super easily. And then if you want to make another batch, then you're ready to go right away.
I think you get the point now. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, please leave a thumbs up and you can subscribe to the channel and also leave questions or comments down below if you need uh, any extra explanations. Thank you so much. See you next time.